morning, good morning, and welcome to day four of our solo holiday. So the sun's just come out, it was cloudy, but it's a bit of sun now. I've been spending the morning editing, uploading, um, and now it's like midday. I've had some breakfast, um, and then I'm gonna go to the pool, have a nap because I'm so tired, and then we are finally gonna go out into Lanzarote and explore, I promise keep getting distracted with the all-inclusive alcohol but yeah i'm feeling better after last night i was just a bit like for me it wasn't about those guys could have just been being nice but at the same time if they've got a girlfriend why are you inviting a single girl out with you i don't know it's not my business or it just kind of like made me feel like oh my god can i can you trust anyone that's what it made me think and i just need to like just chill out about that but today is a new day and Life is wonderful. Hills are alive with the sound of music. Okay, let's go to the pool. So I've just come to the pool. Really quite cold. The sun's out right now, but it keeps going behind the clouds. So then every time it goes behind the clouds, it's freezing. But I'm only just going to come here for like an hour to have a sleep and then go for an explore because it's my last full day and I want to make the most of it. I just want to sit by the pool again. Unless it was boiling hot, then I would sit here all day drinking sangria, but I've done enough of that. So... I got myself a Coca-Cola. Not a single drop of alcohol in this because I'm a new woman. And I also got myself an ice cream. We're throwing it back today to being five years old. I have water. Can you believe it? I'm really smashing this health and wellness vibe now. I'm a changed person. It is actually so warm now. I've been sunbathing, but I'm starving so I want to go get some pizza. Then go back to tan my back. Then go explore. Here is what I've chosen for lunch. Interesting pudding selection. I saw one of those guys coming over um, when I was walking like the opposite way. So I went into the toilet to avoid him because I just thought I can't be doing with it. Like I don't want to be like chatting to someone who's got a girlfriend. And then he waited outside the toilet. I'm like, oh, hi, yeah. And he's like, how was your night? I was like, yeah, it was good. How was yours? Like, you know. And I got to my son lounger and then he went, well, I just came over to um, ask you a question, to get your advice. Um, we're going home today, him and his friend, and we want to know what we should get for our wives. I was like, uh, and I went to him, I went, wives? And he went, well, girlfriends, um, but they will be our wives one day. It's like, this is so random. I was like, I just said, well, why are you asking me? Like, I'm single, I don't know. I said, oh yeah, that's true. And I said, get her an I love Lanzarote key ring. That was it. And he went, okay, well, have a nice day. I went, you too. Like, I don't know. They, like, they didn't do anything like wrong, wrong, did they? But like, what do you think to that interaction? Like, I'll let you decide what you think. I just thought it was really weird. Like, it was like he'd come up just to say, we've got girlfriends. Yeah, I know, because I stalked your Instagram, which you've probably figured out. I don't know. What do you think of that? I want your opinions. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but anyway, they've gone now. May they have a happy, healthy, long relationship and never, ever cheat. Hopefully, I just misread the situation and they were just being really friendly and they're nice guys. That's what I'm going to say and that's where I'll end it. So, I just got changed um, and I'm going to go out and have a little explore. I go home tomorrow and I haven't even looked around properly except to go out for a drink and find a shop. So, have a little explore around about an hour see what we can find then come back have some dinner to be honest it's going to be an early night tonight i don't know like even at the start of this vlog if you go watch vlog one i was just exhausted i feel really really tired this week and it's kind of just been hard to like be awake like i think if i wasn't vlogging i would be in bed asleep right now but i know this is your holiday too so i'm gonna make it fun for you and we're gonna go out Anyway, so this is literally right outside my hotel. The beach is right there, and then the hotel is there, and there's like a little gate. I'm just gonna walk up here, see what I can find. Okay, so right now I actually do feel a bit like I'm in Mamma Mia. <laughs> okay, I've walked like miles and somehow ended up here. And now it's getting a bit quiet, so I think I might turn around to see so you can get more of a feel for the surroundings. You're welcome. I'm just on the beach. Um, there's hardly anyone on here. Like, I just feel like I'm in Mamma Mia. And I know I'm not, but wouldn't it be nice? Like, if there was all these men and there was a child and I didn't know who was the dad, but they all were in love with me and I was tanned and pretty and like, just living life. I am kind of living life to be fair, but here's a little uh, video of me walking down. So like the aesthetic, ready? It's gonna look very aesthetic, this. 
tricky is to just not care because one day my life will end and am I gonna care about looking weird at this moment? No, just live your life, okay? That's my advice to you. Live your life and don't care what people think. Also, Spanish men are very good looking. That's my other second piece of advice, which isn't really advice, but you can just take it on board. I just realized you couldn't actually see the beach. Can you see it now? Okay, I've done this too many times now. Can you see it or not? This is the beach. This is me. People looking at me weird, don't care. I don't even have any alcohol. It must be the tiredness, I'm delirious. Cute is I just love the ocean. Anyway, right, I'm gonna stop talking now. So I've just come across these for people that are like in love and stuff. How cute is that? I might throw up. Could never be me. Sorry, that was so bitter. And this couple was walking past me at the time and they just kind of looked at me like, <sighs> only joking, I think it's cute. One day I'll do that in 20 years or never. I don't know. Maybe do it with like a dog or my 10 cats. We'll see. Best day ever. There's burgers. I went over and saw the bread buns in my car. Now what? And then I saw him cooking burgers and I just stuck everything in it. I've got cheese sauce on it, pickles, onions, and I've got rice. I've got cheesy potatoes, some peppers, and something else. I don't know what it is. I'm not getting kissed. I can eat as many onions as I want. Just get a plate of onions. My rebellion. Honestly, the state of it. Do I go into the bar or not? That is the question. Just sat watching a magician having a drink. They just came here because there's such a good looking barman. And I just was like, I just want to see him one last time. Like, he's like the dream man. And he actually came and spoke to me, said, ask me what I do. Like, oh my God. But I put so many onions on my burger, there's just no way. No way. So I'm just gonna have one drink and go to bed. But the magician is quite good. God, that barman is the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life. Like, he looks like Mel Gibson in the Lethal Weapon films. And that's my dream man. He's just stunning. And he came up and spoke to me. And I just went bright red and like tried to talk back. But all I could think about was the fact I stink of onions because I loaded my burger up with onions like... Oh my god, I'm never going near a mannequin and ate all these onions and I was just stinking and like <laughs> and he was like, Oh I'm curious about you, right? And then he comes back, starts talking to me about yesterday and how many drinks I was drinking. He was like, Oh, did you feel poorly this morning? And I was like, ah. I was like, Oh no, no, I'm um if... and I just went bright red and I couldn't form a sentence there was a magician on, it was loud. <laughs> And um, so he was getting closer to my face to hear me. And I was thinking, good God, he's going to think she stinks. Panic was just too much. So I came back upstairs. But, like, I'm just sad now because I'll never, ever see him again. And physically, I'm not just saying this physically, he was my dream man. I'm going to think about him forever. I am feeling brown. And I swear I haven't even spent that much time in the sun because it's not even been the best weather. But I'm, I'm feeling it. What a lovely day it's been and tomorrow we go home but that's always exciting the journey on. Anyway, right, I'm going to moisturise now because I'm not losing this. I'm not losing this colour. Mm-mm-mm. Never. Good morning, my lovely people. Day five of our solo holiday and I'm about to pack. Going home. We're going home. We're going home. I've had a lovely time. I'm excited to get home. For like a couple of days and then I'll be like <laughs> I want to go again but the good news is at home today and then we're away again in two weeks so it's only gonna wait two weeks till we go away again I'm really treating you I'm really treating myself anyway this is what I've got to deal with right now this is the situation <laughs> why do I do this to myself look we've got stuff everywhere we've got my little door barricade Got stuff on the floor, got a bathroom full of stuff. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. And I gotta check out in one hour, so let's get a move on. Hey babe, can you just check that we've got the um boarding passes? Oh no, we can't because I'm alone. <laughs> I love being independent. Honestly, like I think it's great the character building. And honestly, if there was someone else on this holiday with me, I'd probably just get annoyed because I'd be like, oh my god, stop trying to do everything. I'm in charge. I'd be alone forever. And I'm okay with it. I'm all packed and ready 
to go and check out. So this is what my room is looking like. Ooh, it's not so bad, is it? I haven't made the bed, but like, you know, it's just nice not to have to make the bed sometimes. I check out. And then I did want to film like a little hotel tour, but I don't think I'm going to have time. I'll just sit there and wait for an hour. Maybe watch something on my iPad. <sighs> I feel really bloated. This is not... Oh, my goodness. All the bread I've been eating on this holiday, all the bread and cheese. But it is time to say goodbye. Oh, I hope no one heard that. I hope no one heard that. But I'm just sitting on a sofa in reception with my luggage. Sit here for an hour and edit today's um, vlog. Just wait for my transfer to pick me up. It's like, picks me up at like half one and my flight's at 10 to four. Like that feels a bit tight for me, but I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just too careful with that stuff. Still waiting. Getting through to board on my flight. It was so nice because I met this uh, basically in the hotel room next to me. Didn't know until today because she only just saw me. Was um, a lady called Jackie on a solo holiday. She was 60 years old, she was on a solo holiday and she follows me. She introduced herself and then we got the coach together and we're just chatting and it was really nice. So this is Lanzarote Airport for anyone that was wondering what it looks like. There you are and try and find some food um, and I've got 50 euros and I always think well that's not real money now so I need to go spend it somewhere. I've got some fish and chips, cost me 11 euros, it looks nice enough, should be fine. This is where I'm eating it, just like chilling on my own but I don't care, I've got food so I'm happy. I've just eaten this, I've just swallowed some and it is raw fish, it's freezing cold. I've just eaten raw fish and I'm about to get on a four and a half hour flight and complain they just gave me my money back I said I said you've just served me raw fish like I'm gonna be sick now and I'm on a flight and they've said um, that it's pre-cooked like it's cooked and then frozen and then reheated but surely that'll still make me sick I can't do food poisoning again we just come here and got some chicken nuggets and fries hoping I don't get poorly Pray for my stomach. I ate some pink nuggets and ate some raw fish, so that's good. I stood at this table, I'm absolutely starving as well, but I just can't get a good meal anywhere. Burger King, but the queue's massive. Time zone on my phone keeps changing by like an hour, so I get getting confused when my flight is. I did get a Pepsi, because like Pepsi's supposed to get rid of germs in your stomach, I think. Well, Coke is, but they had no Coke. Hopefully that does something, and I've had some chips. My tummy like is cramping a bit, but I don't know if that's just like in my, in my head. I just shoved a panini in my face. On the plane, we're just waiting to take off. It's so warm. Oh, it's so sad that we're leaving. But we'll be on another holiday again very soon. I've downloaded some films and some series. Just relax and watch a movie. Yeah, we can all the position. see my case just got my bag everything's good i'm gonna now go to my car and drive home it's all gone smoothly i do love this airport how quick everything is because there's literally nothing going on why did i not make a note of the letter of where i parked because i literally have no idea where i am i found my car it took me a while i had to walk up and down and just keep doing it like bit by bit to find it but i found it i'm freezing and now Let's drive home. I am home and I had to do the stop at McDonald's, just got some chicken selects. I'm gonna eat them and then finally get home home. Back home, back home, home sweet home. It's like I never left. I'm gonna go shower, just make myself feel less gross from all that traveling. I'm happy to be home safe and I'm so excited that we go away again in two, what? That we go away again in two weeks. Just the dream. And I just love, I have all these people to take on holiday with. Oh my God, can you hear me right now? I cannot even speak English. I'm tired, right, time to get ready for bed. I forgot to finish the vlog last night because I was just so tired. But thank you for coming on holiday with me. 
I've had the loveliest time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like this. We're going on holiday again in two weeks. Can you guess where we're going? Drop your guesses in the comments. You, If you liked it, please engage so I know to keep vlogging longer vlogs on YouTube when I go away. Well, that's the end of this trip to Lanzarote. We'll see you very soon. I love you, bye.